Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum and Eid Mubarak to all the Muslim around the world. Happy Eid Al Adha. And uh, we are going to create this video as an intro of Eid Al Adha. And for that purpose, I have some stuff which is I'm going to show you that these are some strips or some kind of a background here, borders, centerpiece in the in the two pieces and uh, text of Eid Al Adha of some flowers just for the decoration purpose. So we are going to create this uh, and for that purpose you must need to go to the Adobe After Effect. I'm going to take my composition here which was 1280 and 720 pixels. I'm going to place it OK and uh, as you can find out my composition here. I'm going to drop my stuff, uh, which was my background, main stuff, my borders, my centerpiece, all of them. I'm just going to, I have to drop this. So first of all, I'm going to drop my background here. Background is actually in higher in size. As you can find out, these are the actual size of my background, which was too high. So I need to go to the my scaling. You have to press S for the scale and put down the size. I think 50% yes 50% is perfect so now that 50 I think 48% yes 48% is uh, perfectly match on this so double click on this project window or maybe you can find out the import your file so take the background and sorry border and the border I'm gonna place it here so you can find out these are the black lines are my actually is my border which is not actually visible but it will be visible easily i'm gonna apply a color here which was called uh, fill the effect it is the effect fill color so i'm gonna apply fill color on this layer so you can find out these are converted into the red i'm gonna change the color which is something like uh, i think that was golden close to the golden now it looks uh, proper detailful so my next step is i'm just going to drop my main center pieces which is i have broken into two parts i'm just going to animate them that's why i have broken into two parts so both are my center piece have to be import here and i'm just going to place it down this way all right so my this slide this slide will be good but uh, as you can find out uh, that's that uh, this part is going to create some disturbance so i have to take the mask i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna take my pen tool and i have to draw a quick mask So as you can see this and uh, this slide is actually masked but actually i don't want this part i want that part which is actually not visible for that purpose just uh, select the layer of slide and press m for the masking options and you need to convert this into the subtract options so when you play with the subtract so it this selection will going to be subtract and I'm gonna take my border layer, go to the effect control. This is fill color. So I have to place control C for the copy effect and select the layer of slight and control V for the paste. So the same color will going to be appear here. I have to take the another duplicate of uh, this slide. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna change this, this mode into 3D layer after taking 3D layer, you have to take the duplicates, which was Control D, the shortcuts duplicate. And this time I have to press R for the rotation and go to the Y rotation, this rotation, and you have to place 180 degree. So it will rotate according to the perspective positions. I hope you get this point and uh, now the main task the main task is this you have to place the 
main title which is Eid al Azha, the Eid or the celebration event for the Muslim all over the world. Double click on this and uh, I will have to drop my main text of Eid al Adha. In English, we call Eid al Adha, or English in Urdu, or in Arabic, we call Eid al Azha. So you have to put down the size like uh, I think 80 percent that's fun and the same effect I'm gonna paste is here so you can find out these it looks cool I think more drawn because I have uh, place I have leave this space because I'm gonna draw my line art animated art so this time I have to draw that arts for that purpose i have downloaded some image of uh, image shape of the god we must uh, download them and i'm going to drop it down here this is higher in size so you need to press s for the scaling and put down the size here oh, that's too much low 30 percent i think I think uh, that will be 28%. So now this is this is perfect. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to take another solid layer and this solid layer is going to be called my 3D stroke. I think I don't need this layer. Sorry, control Z. I will apply the main path on this. Okay, fine. So make it a little transparent so you can see behind. Okay, so we need to decrease the size more. more. So this is perfect. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit zoom. So we need to find out, take the pen tool and after taking the pen tool, just draw the outline of this shape okay find out like this but if you click here so you can find out the shape is going to be disturbed like this so we can retouch it after draw so don't be worried about that if your shape is getting not good so you don't need to be worried about this like this I think control Z so we uh, we must uh, create a shape according to the demand according to not uh, it's not necessary that you have to draw according to the lines So take the pen tool and make it more that's okay but uh, this time I'm going to take my selection tool and after that you will have to find out uh, this shape was disgusting this shape was uh, disturbing this shape was disturbing so you need to make it zoom and uh, you will have to press control and then you will have to select this proper way fine again press control and set the handle of this this good press control and set the angle so as you can find out guys that I have uh, draw the outline of this uh, god shape so this time I have to apply an effect which is called 3D stroke. But first let me remind you 3D stroke is not the default effect in our Adobe After Effects. It's a third party plugin which is called Trap Code. I'm going to show you this. 
this is the trap code and you will have to find out 3d stroke in it when you apply 3d stroke so picture will going to be disappear and you will have to see these line art so in 3d stroke you can find out some more effect and some more options uh, it's like uh, you have to increase the thickness suppose it's 10 pixels i'm going to make it 20 pixels so you can find out this is actually increasing the thickness so i have to animate them because i have already opened everything so let's start the animation in the beginning uh, you will easily see my background and my border so the second time we will have to start these animations so i'm gonna off the layer of extra part i will only focus them so i am going to select this piece and I will mask them. Okay, so in two seconds, I want to be position will be like this. So press P, press the key in the position, and before before it, you will have to down the position something like this. So it will come like this. If I will play this, so this is the actual animation. But now I will press M for the mask. Mask path, apply the key on the mask path. And when you go to the beginning, double click on a mask and make it to the up. so this effect will be something like this the same process I'm gonna apply with my another this piece so I have to open this piece and disappear this piece the same thing I'm gonna do the mask and the pre press P for the position and apply the key on position before position this will going to be on top like this right so press M for the mask pad apply the key go to the behind select double click on the mask and it will come to like it will be here like this so if I open both so let's see what we have done this looks crazy I I love it I love this so I think uh, I have to make a mask like this so it will be beautiful like this okay so my mask is going to be like this the touch so our first part we have already animated uh, we have already animated this one and now I'm gonna apply up now I'm gonna open my slides so and up in my god and text of Eidul Azza as well so this time I have to place it on transparency press T on Eidul Azza opacity make it zero and in just one second or in maybe two seconds like four it will be appear hundred percent like this in the same time I have to apply 3d stroke on my god so I'm gonna take my god 
and uh, take proper white color and you have to come to the taper and enable the taper so it will be like this the corner will be thin and the middle part will be heavy so you will find out the end this one press the key of end and make it to the zero when it will be appear so and make it to the hundred so let's see what we have actually done in it wow this is actually drawing so i'm gonna place a scale and gonna increase 30 percent so that will be looking more beautiful and attractive and in that time i have to take my slides these golden slides here okay so these slides have I'm going to apply an effect which is called transitions linear Y and I will okay so the clock will be like this okay press the key here and after a few second you will have to make it zero so this will going to be appear as well make it feather as well so same effect you're gonna copy control c and apply on control v and press u make it same places of the key so it will going to be move as a same positions like this that's perfect one more thing which is actually addition so not necessary or maybe not uh, proper i'm gonna apply another effect uh, on my goat which is called star glow star glow is also a third party plugin and you can find out this beautiful shine as you can see this 28 percent so you can easily find that these shining traveling so I'm gonna apply them once again, I'm going to see them. That's good. This is hilarious. This is perfect. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. And if you like this, so please subscribe my channel, press the bell icon and Happy Eid Azza. Thank you so much for watching.